Okay, in this video, I'm going to introduce the chapter 2 of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics for the Leaving Certificate. And chapter 2 is Accelerated Linear Motion. So I'm just going to briefly introduce the topic and uh, the type of things you'll be, you'll be learning in it. Well, I suppose the first thing to do is to have a look at what it's actually called, Accelerated Linear Motion. So first of all, what does linear mean? Linear means that something is happening in a straight line. Now that might seem, uh, that might seem very obvious to you. But what, what happens if you're, for example, going around a racetrack? Well, if you're going around a racetrack, you're going at angles like that, or maybe a circular, a circular motion, and that is completely different to this. So linear motion is happening in a straight line. So, for example, on a straight road, and only on a straight road. And if the road, will say, bends, we'll say that's your road, and if the road bends at all, you can only analyze the motion for, you only could do the linear motion from here to here, and after that you have to start using circular motion in order, in order to analyze what's happening. So that is what, uh, that's what linear means, first of all, so it's happening in a line. Motion, well clearly that means something is moving. Now wh when we say that it is accelerated, so it is accelerated. Um, first of all, people write A means, um, that's the variable for acceleration. That's the first thing. If it's being accelerated, uh, it's speeding up. And it's speeding up or, or slowing down, so it's, we'll say, speeding up or slowing down. And if it's doing either of those, then it is accelerated. If the speed is the same, if the speed is constant, then the acceleration is equal to zero. So it's not accelerated if it's the, uh, it's not accelerated linear motion if the acceleration is zero. That's pretty obvious as well. So all right, we've just had a quick look at what, what, what it means. Now, what sorts of things can you analyze with accelerated linear motion? You could analyze, um, let's say this is my car, with my terrible drawing. You could perhaps analyze the motion of a car along a road if it is accelerating by, I don't know, certain, a certain acceleration vector A might be equal to 10. It's accelerating at 10 meters per second. Um, you could analyze, you know, it will say you might be given an initial velocity and you're given a final, you're, if you're given an acceleration and you might be able to say after, we'll say, 10 seconds, how quick will the, uh, how quick will the car be moving if it accelerated at 10 meters per second for 10 seconds given that the, the initial velocity was equal to zero. So it's, it kind of introduces, um, you know, the, the working out speeds, times, distances, and so on in, uh, in, of, of, of motion. So we'll say the five variables that you will be dealing with, is it five? I think it is. You'll be dealing with these variables. You'll be dealing with u, which means the initial speed. You'll be, oh, that's speed. You'll be dealing with V, the final speed, A, the acceleration, S, the distance, and finally T for time. And you'll be doing, for the whole of this uh, chapter, you'll be doing those, those uh, we'll say, be finding out these variables. It's very important because when you start going on to projectiles, say this is my XY plane and I'm firing a projectile up like that well then with your projectile you're going to work you're, you're going to want to work out well at what speed does it hit the ground and um, you know what's the acceleration well what distance what's the range if I fire if I hit my slitter with a hurley how far will it go that would be the distance and um, what's the acceleration what will be the final speed the initial speed and this this chapter on accelerated linear motion will allow you to be able to do this so this builds on the chapter on vectors and uh, in terms of its difficulty, you'll be doing a lot of things like uh, you'll be you'll have a graph, and you'll be drawing we'll say shapes to represent what's happening, and you'll be getting areas, and with those areas you're able to work out these, uh, you're able to work out these these um, these variables, and later on then you'll actually start using formulas. Now just to show that this actually isn't difficult, I'm going to write some of the formulas. So we know that v is equal to u plus a t. Uh, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, s is equal to ut plus a half at squared. Now, 
I'm not expecting that you understand these, but what I would hope is you look at that and say, well, look, those those aren't looking very difficult. You're using squares, addition. That's it. Squares, addition, and um, multiplication here. And that's all you're using in order to work out this accelerated linear motion. So it's not like a maths course where you might be doing integration or you might be doing differentiation. Um, you this is this is very simple. So look, it's um, it, it's it, it's 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 an important chapter in that it'll help you study the motions of projectiles. It'll also help you actually when you're doing impacts and collisions. So you might have two snooker balls like this. You'll use the vectors to work out the directions and then you'll use your accelerated linear motion uh, knowledge to work out the speeds that hit each other and so on. So, like I said, accelerated linear motion, it's just this is to introduce it, it builds on the topic of vectors and it'll help you when you're studying all the other chapters in, uh, in, in the course. So, I hope that I hope that uh, helps you, I suppose, or it will say puts it into context for you. So, if you're ready, we'll, we'll crack on with the uh, we'll crack on with the, the chapter itself. So, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and uh, pass it on to your friends.